There is no money anywhere in the country. The federal government is just managing to pay salaries. Budget Minister laments. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. This is the statement coming from the Minister of Budget and National Planning, Atiku Bagudu, who has lamented about the country not having enough money to take care of the challenges that comes with increased population. Now, with that being said, um, this is one of the worst news that will come out from the federal government at this particular time of the nation. And um, honestly, it's not a good one. And for any public officer to speak on behalf of the federal government, such a news as this, they are not expecting the citizenry to give a round of applause or to say thank you for such a news. It's going to come with a lot of backlash and a lot of, you know, emotions are going to be at play because the truth of the matter is we do not understand what exactly is going on. You know, um, we don't mean to sound pessimistic. It has been said severally that we seem to be moving from bad to worse, to the worst, and to the w whatever can come after that word. Um, just taking a few steps back in the administration of Nigeria, we had Jonathan, who ex-president Jonathan, who came in and you, we thought we, that was the worst that could happen and transitioned to ex-president Muhammadu Buhari's administration, which was another massive failure administration. And now to this one that we've been bearing for the past four months, it doesn't look any better. I'm not considering uh, any kind of political party you belong to. If you're a true Nigerian with whatever is happening right now, and especially if you're on ground or you have a business in Nigeria, you have a better understanding of what exactly is going on. Oh, yes, some people might not feel it because maybe their businesses are doing well or they are positioned to um, make money from whatever government institutions they belong to or whatever. If you're a Nigerian doing your business or running whatever you're running legitimately to make money, you will know that this is like the worst of the worst it just seems as if for the past three days the dollar been increasing as if there's a, an unleash on the increment in dollar against a naira against the dollar rather so this is not a news that we want to hear right now as nigerians and we are just saying that when you come out to say things like this and this is from the same government just a few days ago that 160 million was approved to buy suvs each for lawmakers where is the balance? How can there be money when a lot of money is spent on buying um, vehicles, exorbitant vehicles from outside the country to give comfort to our lawmakers? And we, the citizens of Nigeria, are supposed to always bear the brunt and be patient. While there's no patience written in the books of the lawmakers or um, those in government, let's get into what he exactly said. Bagudu was represented by the Ministry's Director of International Cooperation, Dr. Samson Ebimaro, at an event in Abuja on Friday, October 20th, 2023, urged non-governmental organizations to help the government cover some spaces. He noted that Nigeria's population is fast increasing and unemployment is surging amidst high inflation rates. The minister said, government faces enormous challenges, especially now. The government is facing its re revenue deficit. There is no money anywhere in the country. The government is just managing to pay salaries. The growth rate is very slow and the population growth is fast pacing and increasing. Unemployment is surging in the midst of high inflation. So let's take some comments. The first commenter says, After Nadon used 500 million buy Range Rovers for on a house of reps, how will there be money? Another said, but spending billions on vehicles for the executive and national assembly. Truth is, Nigerian leaders don't care about the people. And unfortunately, the people fight each other for them. Senseless. Another person said, uh, Make Una resign so that we go believe. Another said, But lawmakers are purchasing cars worth billions of naira. Interesting. Another said, But they budget luxury cars for senators and parliamentarians. Another said, and now they buy exotic cars, money no still day. Another said, foolish talk, no detire now for this country. Another said, but now see money buy bulletproof SUV, give ministers. Hmm. Another said, APC government are all criminals. 
Another said, Make una come borrow from me now. Another said, Take another loan from China. Make una go China, borrow money, borrow Nigeria. Another said, But where did you guys see money to buy luxurious cars? Turn that will fire, guys, if you do not stop this capping. Another said, Meanwhile, they have enough to pay themselves and steal as well. Another said, Hmm. That's what we are always told, but very soon we will hear that one man alone in the government has stolen billions of naira. So funny. Another said, but there's natural resources to exchange for money. What thing they do now? Another said, we're in money we all of una don't share, carry, go hide. Another said, please cut the crazy cost of governance and you guys should get down to do the job. Another said, now don't use money by a CV finish, stupid people. Another said, now nah, don't start na nonsense again, Abi. Another said, oh God, that one a big lie. Where all the money can go? Another said, paying salaries for work, for what work done. If they are not making any money, what are they paying salaries for? Another said, there's no money in the country, my ass. These folks are just stealing the country's money left and right. Another said, but where does looted money come from, Oga? Oh Another said, after spending billions to purchase cars, these criminals are telling us that there's no money anywhere to pay salaries of civil servants. This is actually the definition of wickedness and corruption. Another said, but there's money for brand new luxury cars for political office holders. Um, another said, Nativo Nabina, money no day, but now they spend billions on vehicles. Another said, this government just their amazed person alone. Another said, but there's money for vehicles that cost 160 million, right? Another said, but you people have $550,000 to pay for hotel bills in the USA and also money to carry Umu Akuna that side. Another said, I just hope this government knows what they are still, that there are still people standing on their mandates. Don't let them be put to shame. Oh. Another said, now statistics we go chop, right? Another said, but spending billions on vehicles that is that is not even needed, they play very selfish people. Another said, managing to pay salaries, but you people are busy buying luxurious cars, just they play. Another said, funny people, Nigeria is not having money, but Mr. President appointed 48 ministers and numerous advisors whose salaries are not known to virtually all Nigerians. Upon resumption of office, he quickly gave out 70 billion to legislators. 35 to judiciary, renovated the villa ETC. As we speak, bulletproof cars what billions of naira are on their way to Nigeria for National Assembly members. But for the poor masses that voted you guys in, 25k for three months, and for 50 million poorest families, is that what they deserve? Our leaders have seen us finish, I swear. Not to get you are. And I said, whenever they bring up this issue of no money, I always believe they are up to something. Another said, make we know they use Bible, they swear people into office again. Make we they use Ahmad Yoha or for Ogun and others. Another said, with laughing in emoji, but lawmakers, they collect car worth of 200 million. Another said, but federal governments, they buy cars worth millions of naira for lawmakers. Ogbeni, make this your statement, make sense. Another said, where is the subsidy money? Why can't we generate money from farming using the vast land in the north and other parts of the country? What happened to the gold and other minerals in the northern part of the country? Why can't we unless other resources which are really richly available in the country? My goodness, what kind of leaders do we have in this country? So these are some of the comments we can take for now. What's your opinion on this? The optics for this governance that we are having right now is not looking very good. It's not looking BAD, extremely bad. And um, honestly, Nigerians are confused. Nigerians are tired of bad policies that continually send them into extreme poverty. We'd like to hear from you. Bye for now.